Twitter som kommer komma som bok i höst. Och den här är den första som heter Mike. Ansiktet mot slottsmuren. Han kisade vid korta avstånd. Glasögonen var tjockare än iskuberna i hans Jack Daniels. En solsticka till man. I ljusa skogskläder. En röd toppluva även om somrarna. 61 men mera som 80. En man som en gång lyste helt klart har långsamt brunnit ut. Han älskar att prata om förgångna tider. Åldersmarsson, Grovner Street, festivalen på Isle of Wight där Hendrik spelade i sin syratripp genom livet. Jag visste inte vad han hette i mellannamn innan han dog ensam en regnig dag i april. I en kartong i en bedford van kom han för sent till sin egen begravning i en skog av blåkorko. Nu kommer Anton att läsa på engelska. Um, tack, Magnus. Vem? Sorry. Yeah. That might work. Uh, yeah, thanks. It's, it's really great to be back. Um, uh, I was here last July. And while I was here, um, Dominic and I uh, brought you the, our Poems and Pints Night, which we've been running in my hometown, Carmarthen, for uh, five years now. We celebrated our fifth birthday in, um, in March. So um, I'm honoured to be here again, and um, I'm very honoured to be here because Magnus is going to publish um, my poetry, and um, Peter is going to be translating it. So yeah, I'm indebted to them and to um, all you good people at Tranos for inviting me back. So um, this is the poem that Magnus just read so beautifully, thank you. <laughs> so, for Mike. There's a, va- there's a vacant space in the beer garden now where he always used to sit, face towards the castle wall. He peered at short distance glasses thicker than the ice cubes in his Jack Daniels chaser. A wraith-like man, a matchstick in light wood clothes, a red beanie on his head, even in the summertime, a swan vesta of a man. 61, but more like 80, a man who once had shined so brightly, slowly burning out. He loved to talk of older times, Aldermaston, the Glastonbury Fair, the festival on the Isle of Wight, with Hendrix playing there in his acid trip through life. I never knew his last name until he died alone one rainy day in April in a cardboard box in a blue Bedford van. He turned up late for his own burial in a bluebell wood. (laughs) 